Hey, peeps, and welcome back to another episode here in Ark Survival Evolved. What is my character looking at? What's so interesting over here? <laughs> I'm trying to look at you guys. All right, but yes, peeps, welcome back. It's a it's a pretty gloomy day here in uh, in the Hope series. It's raining. The sky looks oddly yellow. We got like the Mexico Hollywood filter going on here, but. Hopefully this gloomy weather will not be reflective of this being a gloomy episode because today we are going to be continuing where we left off in the last episode with more Titanosaur taming. We got this brand new Titan here and as we saw in the last episode peeps, he is an absolute monster. His stomp attack on level doing 16 thousand damage he's already got 41 levels just from when i took him out to go take the thumbnail he killed a couple things got some experience and i'm very tempted to pump melee and just see how much damage we can get him to but i will save that for the end for our fully mutated titanosaur oh also peeps a lot of you guys i mean i guess i should have seen this coming titan attack on titan everyone was suggesting attack on titan names and so obviously we have named him Aaron Yeager. So there, there we go. Everyone, please say hello to Aaron Yeager. Maybe today we could find a, a Mikasa or oh my, Mi, is it Mikasa? M Mikasa? I think Mikasa sounds better than Mikasa. That sounds like I'm trying to say my house in Spanish. But yeah, peeps. So uh, it's gonna be another one of those episodes where we are just kind of at the will of the arc uh, and how long it's gonna take us to actually accomplish our goals today i did do a dino wipe so we have a fresh set of creatures so i guess we can immediately start by doing a dino scan see if there's any titans yet i, I don't think there are though but i mean can't hurt to check right it's free and yeah no titanosaurs now we do have a normal titanosaur which is both good and bad because one we have a titanosaur, so that's only one more that we need to find. The reason why that's bad is because I find it far easier to farm for scorched titanosaurs in the desert. And if I want to do that, I would have to tame another male because I am, again, 99% sure that they cannot breed because technically they are different creatures in, in, in the game code, right? So even though they're both titanosaurs, can't really do much with them. So I'm going to fly around, I guess, and maybe go on some killing sprees with our mech, with our with our indom, probably. The indom is probably still better than the mech because we do more damage. And we just have to hope that eventually a titanosaur will spawn in. We also need to get a lot more Deinonychus eggs hatching up, which we should have a bunch over here. Yep, you can see there's our Deinonychus horde right there, and our gotchas need to start producing things. Why is there battle music? Who wants to die? Who? Where? What's fighting? Hello? Okay, well, uh, anyway, yeah, we need more cannon shells and extraordinary kibble, so even if we had a titan right now, we couldn't really tame it yet, so I guess it's, I guess, kind of an okay thing. I, I, I have no idea why there was battle music. All right, well, anyway, peeps, I guess I'll leave you all for the time being and bring you back if anything interesting happens. Well, all righty, peeps. Uh, I guess we're going to go ahead and shift gears here because it's been a few days. Thankfully, thankfully, only in ARC. It hasn't been a few days in real life, at least, you know, not yet. I, I'm really hoping it doesn't come to me having to sit here for multiple real life days just to get a Titanosaur to spawn. But uh, actually, I, I mean, that's not fair. We did have two Titanosaur spawns. Unfortunately, they were both scorched titanosaurs, and obviously, because we didn't tame them, they were low levels. One was at 125, and the other one was below 100, so I didn't even bother to look at its level. I think it was in the 50s, though, but yeah, not good enough for what we want. So if, if our luck stays the way it is, uh, we're probably going to end up having to tame scorched titanosaurs, which I'm, I'm not too bitter about. I guess, because, I mean, they're at least unique from the normal titanosaur, visually speaking, so that'll make doing mutations on them a lot more interesting, I suppose. And if we go into our mech's inventory, we have made a bunch more cannon shells. We can make even more, but this is all I wanted to make, because this is all my weight stack could carry to our mech. But just like with the last episode, the real pain is going to be 
the kibble that it's it's like what at the very least going to be 85 kibble between two titans if we do have to tame another two scorched titanosaur and uh that's the part i'm really really not looking forward to so you might be asking well if we're not taming a titanosaur right now what are we doing and i remembered that there is a cave right here so i want to go ahead and just check out this cave in this episode oh my fuel reserves are empty rude all right but there we go so that's why i also cryoed frieza at the beginning because this cave has a lot of basilisks in it and uh, particularly alpha basilisks if i'm remembering correctly so we're gonna go ahead get frieza out and he is going to be our main uh, I guess a basilisk killer and actually peeps wait a second. Oh, so, sorry. No dickers. I just stepped on him uh, We can crouch No way Will this work it works Dude, I never in my life thought we would find a purpose for the crouch in this series that is amazing unfortunately, it's very dark in here, but I guess there's there's no basilisks at least not that I can see. They're probably hiding in the ground up ahead. But, uh, yeah, this is a cool cave. This is my first time in here. Obviously, there's a water vein in here, which is cool. I love all this sap that you can find in the caves on this map. I think that's so cool. I don't know. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure no other cave has sap like this. And usually, yeah, look at all the creatures. There's a mantis in like the lunge going after a jug bug and what looks like a baby jug bug. Oh, sad. Also, that is a huge mantis, peeps. Like, like I am on the, I'm on a giga. I'm a giga and that mantis is that big. That is actually absurd. If our cryo cooldown wasn't on right now, I would throw out uh, Kam Kamakaris and we could compare that amber mantis to a actual living mantis. Oh, but what's in this one? This one looks like it has some big creatures. I'm seeing maybe, oh, it's like a family of death worm. Whoa. So we've got a baby here. Uh, and then this is like uh, maybe a, a male. And then here we have the larger female. Holy heck, that's really cool. No, oh, never mind. Uh, I was about to say there's no basilisk, but uh, there's one right here. And unfortunately for you, Mr. or Miss Basilisk, uh, well, one, you're stuck, which is just unfortunate. And two, your gas can't reach me. And three, even if it could, I have a full tech suit. So yeah, just this, the, the basilisk stand no chance here. And uh, I guess, I guess that's it, peeps. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't expect much from this cave because I'm pretty sure all of the artifacts are in that one artifact cave. I don't think there's any creatures in that amber, but I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more to this, but I guess I guess more like amber lore is is interesting as well. Is there anything in this one? Uh, oh, hold on. We got to we got to turn back around. I don't want to miss it if there's something cool in the amber on this side, but it's not. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a Mesopithecus here. And what is this? Oh, a gigantic Titanoboa. Oh, gosh. Oh, OK. So wait, no, there are Basilisk in here. It's just they're not aggroing on the Giga. That makes sense. OK, so I guess we just got a pretty free cave exploration because we walked in with the Giga. No Basilisk uh, is going to see this and go, uh, yeah, I could take that. Except maybe an alpha, but I don't know. I, I Usually, if there is an alpha Basilisk, you can see the alpha glow. Wait, I'm going to try and walk out here without crouching. Oh, we didn't even need the crouch. <laughs> All right, well, there we go, peeps. A little side adventure into that uh, cave. All right, well, I guess I'm going to get back to using a uh, new waddle here and just... Killing every creature I can find across the island to get more titanosaur spawns. So, uh, yep, I'll, I'll see you peeps in what is probably going to be a while. But maybe not. Maybe maybe I'll fly over the ridge and there's going to be a level 380 titanosaur female right there. And it'll be great, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. In my dreams. <laughs> All right. I'll see you peeps later. 
Well, peeps, I've got some good news and some bad news here. The good news is we finally have a decent leveled Scorched Titanosaur. The bad news is that it's still not good enough for us to tame. 290 would be great if max level was 300, but of course the max level is 380. And again, even, even so, I would still love to tame this Titanosaur if it didn't need 33 dang kibble to tame. That is just so, so expensive for a Titanosaur that isn't really even that great. So we're gonna have to kill that one, peeps, and just continue the murder spree in hopes that we find yet another one. It's just as I suspected at the beginning of this video, peeps. The first high-level titan that we find is a Scorched Titanosaur. And interestingly enough, it is a female. It's got 51 points into health and 51 points into melee. Unfortunately, its highest stat is movement speed because, of course, it is. And its weight stat is also quite low, which is sad. But... This is a female, so we can at least test if it can breed with the the normal Titanosaur. Now, I'm, I'm like 99% sure that it can't, but at least we can try it for the memes. I also went ahead and brought a batch of 50 kibble as well as a saddle, so we're going to be able to tame it right here, right now. 37 kibble, thankfully not taking 40. And uh, hopefully this is an e about as easy as the last Titanosaur team was. Just shoot it in the face a couple times. There we go. Oh, big screamy. All right. Oh, that completely went under his face. Uh, you know what is one thing I would like to maybe do, peeps? If we find another one, I'm not going to do it with this one because I, I personally, I just don't care enough. But if we find one that's like really high level and we want to take advantage Wow, did that count as a headshot? I don't know. But uh, and we really want to take advantage of the bonus levels. We could try to bring our uh, our Quetzal to do the final bits of Torpor so we don't get all of this uh, this splash damage from these cannon shells. All right, but I... Um, okay, well, I'm already doing it terribly with this Titan. I need to actually focus on where I'm shooting, I think. That is the problem. All right, then that should be a headshot. Yeah, there we go. All right, so, oh, what? Oh, dude, I thought there was, like, another one sneaking up behind me, but it was just his tail. All right, or her tail, rather. All right, and there we go. Oh, very nice, very nice. Yes, just keep. Now, don't go up the hill. Don't change. Oh, I still hit it, though. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, the worst part about Titan taming is when it goes up and down slope. So, honestly, pretty lucky with the positions of both this Titan and the last one with them just being... And, and, and really flat areas. This is actually an extremely flat area. I wonder if it'll get extra torpor if you shoot it in the face while it's screaming. That would be a cool mechanic. I doubt it's a thing though. I didn't. I didn't check. Oh, here we can check here. All right. Will you gain extra torpor from that? Maybe. I don't think so though. All right, he is. A, he, she is very screamy though, peeps. That is for sure. She's probably very frustrated that she really can't do anything to stop me from launching missile after missile into her face. Are these missiles, peeps? Because they kind of look like missiles. When you shoot it out, like, it looks like it's being rocket propelled, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's not. And I think this might actually be doing bonus torpor to shoot it while it's screaming. I could just be imagining that, though. It's been a few days since I tamed the last one, so I may be misremembering the amount of torpor that we usually did per shot. Right, but here we go. And maybe one more. Oh, look at that. It's going to go behind a tree again. Is this the same tree that the other Titanosaur tried to block my final shot with as well? Oh, that is unfortunate for you. Bonk. And there we go. And actually, the tree blocked a little bit of the splash damage. So that is incredibly useful. All right. 37 kibble. Easy peasy lemon squeezy peeps. Let's go ahead. And do that. All right. Uh, it should only be 36 now, I believe. Let's equip it with the saddle and... Oh, yep, yep, yep. I knew I thought I heard a raptor. All right. I am backing up. We're going to back up so we don't accidentally hit the Titan. And, uh, and then murder, murder, murder. And, oh, man, that was a 290. All right. I'll, uh, I'll bring you peeps back once it is fully tamed. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's really interesting. This Titan 
is losing torpor. Why? The I am I, is it because it's scorched? Does the scorched titanosaur actually lose torpor? It has to be because the other one didn't lose torpor, but, but there it is. It is tamed. Interestingly enough, almost exactly where the other one was tamed. We tamed the other one against this rock, and we have this one now also against this rock. But here we go, 74 points into health. That's what I like to see. And actually 73 into weight as well. So the weight stat came out of nowhere to become one of the best stats on this Titan. That is amazing. All right, let's go ahead and cryo her up. And, and just, just for the memes, we'll take her home and see if she can breed with uh with aaron jaeger and if so then cool what titan will it produce don't know probably none because like i said this it, it won't work but you never know mod makers might do something that you normally don't expect to happen so i won't knock it off completely plus i'm i'm filled to the brim with copium right now that that we could just be done with this process right just done like this is all we need to do we have our titanosaur breeding pair and maybe it's a random chance of, or are we going to get a Scorched Titan or are we going to get a normal Titan? Oh, dude, wait, maybe I should use this for like a, as a landing pad for, for the, for Gypsy Danger. That could be kind of cool. All right, but here we go. Let's go ahead, throw out, uh, yeah, and oh, oh, I'm stuck in its foot. All right, so here we go. Check the breeding, enable mating and enable mating and nothing happens because obviously nothing will happen. <sighs> All right, well, um, at least we can maybe compare the stats. So let's see. Aaron has a way, way better melee and health, but at least this new female has better weight. Oh, I'm actually really sad, dude. I really want to get a female normal Titan because Aaron's stats, dude, like they're, they're just insanely good. <laughs> Oh, uh, I don't know. All right, so I guess, I mean, really, we just need one of each because, again, Propagator, we can switch the gender on command. So if we get another of either one of these versions of the Titanosaur, regardless of gender, we are set for, I, I guess, moving on with the Titanosaur breeding program. But uh, that's probably going to be much, much, much further into the future. So uh, I'll... Uh, I'll see you peeps whenever the Ark blesses us with the luck to find another moving mountain boy. Peeps, we have another Scorched Titanosaur, which it, it's bittersweet, right? Because one, the search is over. This is a level 340. It's also a female, but like I said in the previous clip, it does not matter what gender it is because Propagator is extremely overpowered. So let's go ahead and get to taming this guy. The uh, terrain is definitely going to be a little bit more challenging here. And actually, what are the stats? 46 into health, 43 into melee, and unfortunately, only 50 into the weight stat. Naturally, one of the useless stats, food, is going to have 64 points because why not, right? <laughs> why not? All right, but let's get to work here, peeps. We only need 38 kibble, which actually, do I have that? Oh, could I have 41 kibble? Thank goodness, I'd be really sad if we didn't have enough kibble for this. Oh boy, this is going to be a process, especially if you keep moving. Oh, you're so rude. Yeah, I feel like this is gonna be the most difficult Titan tame out of the three that we've done. But yeah, it, it's bittersweet because like I said, our search is over, but I really want the high stats of our Aaron Jaeger Titan to be able to breed with another one, but it's not to be peeps. I actually haven't seen a single normal titan throughout this entire search so i don't know why but for some reason they are just so so much rare that's not gonna hit yeah gosh dang it. yeah but the, i don't know why the normal titans are so much rarer than the scorched titans maybe because it's easier to clear out the uh the scorched area or maybe i'm just not clearing out enough normal titan spawns but it is what it is peeps at least we now have a titan pair yeah look see what i mean like, like it's just moving around so frustratingly thankfully there's no chance we'll kill it actually i uh, we should we should definitely have enough cannon shells for this i'm glad i i'm glad i uh do have enough because i i really did not bother checking before we uh we started shooting so that would have been a pretty big waste okay oh actually this is a nice flat area right here we can kind of lead it back and forth right here right 
All right, yep. You, you, man, you gotta settle along, Titanosaur. You've been doing nothing but scream. And there we go. Another two shots. We're over halfway there. Just a few more. We'll put this lady to sleep. Yeah, peeps. Imagine trying to do this with a with a Quetzal. How much were we doing per cannonball? Like three three k. <laughs> yeah, that uh. That's not gonna work. Oh, dang it. I said I wanted to try to knock this one out with the Oh man, that's a terrible shot. Oh wait! <laughs> he put his head in it! Amazing. Yeah, I want I said I wanted to do this one with uh with the Quetzal to, or not do the whole thing, but like finish it off with the Quetzal, like I was saying in the in the previous clip, but I guess it's a bit late for that now. There's no way I'm gonna fly back. Alright, where is your head going? Right there, right? Yes. And right there, no. Oh gosh, dang it, I keep getting like mega body shots. There we go, just a few more. And one more, okay, okay, where? No, you're gonna put your head in the rock, aren't you? I probably could have shot there before it uh, it went into the rock, but it's, it's, it's learning. It's, <laughs> it really is. All right, which way are you gonna turn? You can't face that wall forever. Oh, his torpor is going down. Bruh, <laughs> dude. What is it? Look at the tail. What is your tail doing? Could you please, sir, pick a direction? Ma'am, not sir. Literally go somewhere. Dude, are you kidding me? <laughs> this is the smartest Titanosaur to ever live. Go left or right, literally any direction. I will leave it up to you. No way. <laughs> Imagine it just sits here and drains all of its torpor. I only have 13 shots left. P please. Oh my gosh, what is going on here? Hello? What? What is this? Dude. Oh, 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 here it goes. Yes. As soon as I see it, as soon as I see it, and there we go. Oh, made me work for that one. All right, listen, you. Be nice, Kentro. I know you're... You're very territorial, but it doesn't need it doesn't need to end in your death. All right, let's go ahead and just how many did you need? Thirty eight. I like putting in the exact amount because I don't want it to eat all of it. All right, here we go, and uh, I'll take two of those back. And I, I also made the unplatform saddle, so let's see what that looks like. Oh, oh wait, what? Is this a skin? Bruh, I guess that's why it only costs one thatch. It's not an actual saddle. It's just a skin. Gosh dang it. All right, well, I'm going to fly back to base, make an actual saddle, and I will bring you peeps back for when it tames so we can see if maybe we get lucky with some of the bonus levels. And there we are, Scorched Titanosaur number two. Oh, please tell me you have good stats. All right, here we go. 65 into weight, which is lower than our other female, 58 into melee, which I think is also lower, but... 78 into, or excuse me, 76 into health, which is, that's, that's better, of course, naturally, the food, the food rolls into the 80s, and, and 78, that was movement speed, that's why I saw 78, gosh dang it, oh, arc, 71 into oxygen as well, yeah, just roll all the great, great, good stats into stuff that it does not matter, maybe we'll have aquatic titanosaur, I guess we kind of need an aquatic titanosaur, because this map is just islands, so if we ever want to travel somewhere, we need to we need to swim, right? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But yes, let's head home and start breeding these titans. I'm really sad that I have to use the propagator, actually, because I want to know what a titanosaur egg looks like. So we'll have to see that afterwards. Hopefully, we'll get a mail from this first egg. Because when we use the propagator, it, uh, all the eggs turn out to be like golden Hesperornis eggs, I I believe. Wait, no, actually, yeah, no, if, if the creature has an egg model, it is that creature's egg. So let's go ahead, pop this female into Hua, and then now we need to go grab the other one. And here you go, boom, all right, here we go. Prepare dinosaur breeding, start breeding, male to female. And there we go. How long is that going to take? Six minutes? That is a long time, peeps. Even with my boosted rates. I, I, I don't think I've ever seen a mating time that, that, that's that been that long. I wonder how long it would be with vanilla. All right, but yes, I will bring you peeps back when that is done so we can both see what a baby titanosaur looks like. All right, place your bets. Is there a baby model or is it just tiny 
normal titanosaur. I'm betting that it's just going to be a, a, the, the normal titanosaur model, but small. <laughs> so I guess I guess we'll see. Oh my gosh, look at the hologram. <laughs> it's, it's literally just the legs and a stomach. Amazing. Oh, I am excited for this, peeps. We have our first titanosaur egg, and as you can see, it's definitely a unique egg. So let's go ahead, grab a... I think a gasoline here and take it down to our Quetzal incubator because I just I, I want to see just how massive this egg really is. I'm going to be really sad if it's like a normal sized egg, but here we go. I'm also curious to see how long it'll take to incubate and boom. Oh, 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 oh yeah, dude, that is that is a titanosaur egg. How long? Two hours and 40 minutes oh gosh and i thought yeah i thought the giga eggs took a long time look at this absolute unit hold on there's violence there's vi oh, oh yes yes the the serato all right good but dude like oh my gosh this is crazy huge it's it's like four of my character it's as tall as the mammoth it's literally as tall as woolsworth what is it? Oh no, Woolsworth. Oh, Wool Woolsworth is a little taller, but look at that. That is genuinely absurd. All right. Well, I suppose we have a long time ahead for for waiting for this egg to hatch, peeps. I need to check its stats. Hopefully, this is like the perfect stat combo, and we got very lucky on the first baby. But, uh, yeah, I will see you peeps in, I guess, two hours and 40 minutes when this eventually hatches. Let's go ahead, throw that in here, grab all these Deinonychus eggs. I might as well make more kibble, and, and uh, yeah, that's, that's gonna take a while. Look at all the eggs that we can get in the time it takes just one to be incubated down to 1%. Also, check this out. We already have our first mutation. It's a probably terrible looking yellow but look at that the, the mutation is in the wait step the ark knows what i want for these titanosaur peeps but speaking of titanosaur babies i already have an egg down here which should be ready to hatch any second now oh perfect we arrived just in time all right will it be a baby model or just a teeny tiny titano here we go and oh it actually does have a baby model what it's got a shortened tail and a, a, oh, oh my lord, dude. That is the derpiest head. Gosh dang it. I hate that, that the tech gloves always do that when I try to zoom in, but I did not expect that. Holy heck. Oh, dude, the mutations on these guys are going to be so cool. Look at the colors, all the spots. I really hope that we can change the color of the sandstone. Maybe we can? Uh, oh, we don't have any of our ti uh, Scorched Titanos out. They're all breeding, but oh, I I'm very excited to do mutations. How long are you going to take to to grow? Oh, God. I need, to, I, I need to get the mutator peeps, don't I? Because doing these mutations is going to take horrifically long just waiting for them all to grow up. Yeah, and you know what sucks, peeps? To get this, I need to kill Alpha Dragon. <laughs> so, uh... We might have to do that in the next episode. But before I leave you off, peeps, I, I, I want to know if we could take the Titanosaurs into boss fights. I highly, highly doubt it, but I want to know. So I'm going to raise this particular baby up, and I'll see you peeps when it's an adult, and we're going to try to go into a boss fight. It's probably just going to be like Gamma Broodmother or something like that, and it's probably not going to work. But if it does, then... That's going to be really, really funny, but there's no way, especially with how strong these titanosaurs are, there's no way that they're going to let us take these into boss fights. All right, but either way, I will see you peeps whenever this dude grows up. And there we go. Hello, Frieza. Ooh, oh, that poor Anki. Oh, Frieza, that's so rude of you, but here we are, peeps. Oh, also, the Indom army is was here. I totally forgot that we left the... The army here, as well as our Reaper, Bonnie. So, ah! Okay, well, I mean, those wolves really picked a bad, uh, bad, bad meal to try and eat there. But, uh, yeah, so that's cool. We're not going to take them with us just because we don't want, yeah, we don't really need them. I'm 99.9% .9 sure Frieza here will 
be able to handle this all by her, uh, his his self if this titanosaur doesn't come with us but I really hope it is it'd be so funny if we could just bring the titanosaur in but here we go let's start this make sure everyone's actually inside the teleport bubble yes and uh, the titanosaur <laughs> looks like it's actually too tall uh, oh you know what I kind of want to walk a little forward Oh, is that you, Tyrannus, going to come after us? Okay, well, that's going to be a little awkward. Let's go ahead and just do that and then quickly get down because I do not want to miss this teleport. All right, you, Tyrannus, did you want to come fight with us? Well, too bad. Now you're dead. Oh, here we go. And... Oh, no, Titan. Oh, it's what I expected, though, peeps. All right, well, I guess I am going to go ahead and leave off this episode here next episode we are going to be doing the full titanosaur mutations i cannot wait to see what we come up with oh wow the damage resistance wow dude how how do you miss a giga with a rock that was honestly so bad ah, wait the rock came back around and hit me anyway he didn't miss he was trick shotting me Bruh! All right, well, I'm gonna hit you with my tail for that. All right, yes, enrage me against this wall, please, so I could, uh, so I could just start stomping away at you. Oh my gosh, my tail is literally blocking him. Oh my gosh, wait, he missed that rock too. Oh no, he didn't, it just caused us to rage. All right, yes, come on, come friends, just come to the stomping grounds. Yes, yes, but you have such high damage resistance. I did not remember Gamma Megapithecus having this level of damage resistance, but, uh, you know, he's, uh, it's not really gonna help him in the long run. But yes, peeps, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you all with the killing of Big Monkey here with Big Lizard. Uh, it's Godzilla vs. Kong all over again. And like I said, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye